everyone, welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we're making this flower bud square. Um, it might look a little familiar with these um, flowers and um, the flower stems. Um, from a, about a week ago we made the tulip square. Um, we made those rows a uh, rose of tulips um this the tulips were made with clusters this is made with the popcorn stitch so this has got much more um texture to it you can see they're thicker um higher so um yeah lovely bit of texture going on there with our popcorn stitches for our flower buds and um you can do this in as few or as many colors as you like um i'm going to be using the three colors here and um, I'll talk you through those changes and um, that's about it really um, you um, this is the one I've just made um, on the video I've just finished making this with you and um, come back to record this beginning so um, if you want to see how this square was made and make it along with me then um, continue watching and um, let's see how it was done okay so to start round one going to start with a um, chain um, of four and a slip stitch or a magic ring whichever you prefer and then you're going to do a chain three as your first double crochet and then you're going to work 15 double crochet into your ring nice and simple 15 double crochet so you will end up with 16 double crochet Oh, sorry, 16 stitches when you've finished. And just have a count, make sure I've got the correct amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. When you have sixteen, join to the top of your chain three with a slip stitch and there we go so a nice neat little circle for round one okay now um, before I tighten my slip stitch I have just um, cut my grey yarn I've grabbed my green for doing the um, flower stems and um, I'm just going to pop it into this previous colour and join through there and then pull that one down and just tighten that slip stitch now tighten that up nicely and you've got your new color here just remember that you haven't knotted this when you haven't fastened it off in the in the normal way um so alternatively you could just fasten off in the normal way and then join your new color in any of your double crochets you can do that if you like <coughs> excuse me um that's totally fine okay so with your um green um if you're using green it's a typical color for a flower stem so you probably are um so you are going to do a chain four three four and this counts as your first double crochet and a chain one and then into the same stitch which is actually at the top of your chain you are going to do another double crochet so find the top of your um, chain and go into there it might be a bit tight with your slip stitches so just do a double crochet in there so we're going to be making V stitches. If you remember the tulip square, we made um, V stitches for our um, flower petals, um, sorry, for our stems. So we've got like a chain, uh, a double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet there. So that's um, that's kind of how we're doing our V stitches. I know that one's um, a bit further over, but don't worry about that. It's absolutely fine. So we are then going to chain two. And then we're going to skip the next double crochet. <coughs> oh, wait, excuse me. So skip the next double crochet and then do a V stitch into the next. So that's a double crochet, chain one, 
and a double crochet into the same stitch and then chain two skip a stitch V stitch in the next and this is what you're going to do all the way around so chain two skip a stitch V stitch in the next double crochet chain one double crochet chain two skip a stitch V stitch in the next so do this all the way around and um, I will meet you back at the end um, around here to um, join and finish off the round okay so you're going to finish with um, a chain two and then you're going to join with a slip stitch in your third chain of your starting chain four so one two three you will probably have quite a small chain left um, but that's totally fine there we go and then um, so you should have um, eight V stitches one two three four five six seven eight so then fasten this colour up and grab your colour that you're going to use for your um, flower bud. Okay, so for round three, our flower bud, or rose buds if you prefer to call them rose buds, I just think they look like any flower bud really. Um, I'm going to use orange today. Um, you're going to join that colour into the middle of any V stitch, so in that chain one space of any V stitch. Okay, so I've just joined in the opposite side um, just to change up my square. You know, I like to join in different places. Okay, so you're going to chain two to start, and then you're going to do a four double crochet popcorn stitch. So you're going to do four double crochets into this stitch. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now, the pattern doesn't tell us to do it as a four, the pattern actually tells us to do a five. But the way that I prefer to do my starting popcorn when I need to do a chain is um, so we've done four, so pull your loop up on your last um, stitch. And then go into your top chain, so your second chain here. The reason I've done two and not three is because it keeps it much closer together. Okay. Um, so go into the second chain here, the top chain, and then um, pop your loop back on your hook. And then pull that loop through the first one. And that joins that together and makes that popcorn stitch. Okay. And then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then into the next V stitch, you're going to do a five double crochet popcorn because you haven't got that starting chain now. So five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five five double crochets, pull up that loop, take your hook out, pop your hook in the top of your first double crochet and then pop your loop back on, pull that loop, oops, lost that loop there, okay, pull that loop through the first one and that pulls that flower in nicely, making your flower bud. Chain five. Three, four, five, and then you're going to do a five double crochet popcorn in your next, and then chain five and do that all the way around. So it's five popcorn, five chains, five popcorn, five chains, all the way around. And I'll join you here for doing our um, the join of our round. So eight popcorns later. Um, you want to join into your top chain here where you started, so that's your second chain, the one where you pulled your loop through for your popcorn stitch. So go into that top chain and do a slip stitch and then fasten off your colour.
Okay, now as you can see a few ends already, you will be pleased to know that from now on you do not have to change colour anymore if you don't want to. Um, we're going to rejoin with the colour we started with in the centre or another colour if you want to, um, it's fine. Um, and then if you don't want to do any more colour changes, you do not have to do any more. Um, so you want to join your new colour in the top of a popcorn stitch. So grab, um, sorry, have a look at your popcorn stitch and you'll see that you've sort of got two sides. There isn't really a centre centre. So um, you've got this side here where you, if I put my hook in there, this side here where you can see you slip stitched across. Okay, and then um, we pulled that loop through and then you've got this side here where you've got your first chain. So you want to do it, to go into the centre, you want to just do this side here. So the right side, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, then it will be the one this side. Okay, so the one on this side is where you want to go. Join your colour into there. If you are continuing all in one colour, then obviously you have got your colour there ready. You're just going to continue from where you joined the last round. So what we are going to do is find the right part of the pattern. Okay, we're going to do a single crochet in this. So we're going to do a chain one. And then we're going to do a single crochet in that same stitch. Then we are going to do a single crochet around your chain five. And then a, you're going to do three double crochets that go around your chain two here from round two. So this green, as it is in my case, you're going to do a double crochet that goes down to there. So go round there and you're going to encompass both chains okay so you've got see this goes around my green and my orange and then do your double crochet okay do two more double crochets in the same way so so far you have a chain one and single crochet in your popcorn and then you have a single crochet and three double crochets between um, in these two chains okay and then you're going to do another single crochet in around the chain five just the chain five so that's my orange okay single crochet three double crochet and a single crochet there we go and then you're going to do a single crochet in the top of your popcorn stitch so just like before do a single crochet in the top of that popcorn and then you're going to move on to your next chain five space and do exactly the same. So single crochet and three double crochets going under this green and under the orange, my colours, for your double crochet. And then do another one around the two chains and another one. So it's over both. You've got it over the green and the orange. Okay, and then one more single crochet just on your chain five, so just um, on this one. Okay, and then a single crochet in your popcorn. And you're going to do this all the way around, and I'll meet you back here to do our join um, to, um, to here. Okay, so single crochet, five double crochets, and then a single crochet and one in the popcorn. <clears throat> okay, I think I might have just said five double crochets. Um, hopefully you remembered that I meant three. <laughs> um, so once you get back around to the beginning, you will have done your last single crochet and then you're going to slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not your chain one, but your first single crochet that's in the top of that popcorn. And there we go. Looking good, looking pretty, pretty, pretty. So round five. Round five is where we're going to start to square this little beauty off. And we're going to start that by 
doing a chain one and a single crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to do a single crochet in the next three stitches. So that's your single crochet and two of your double crochets. Then you're going to skip two stitches, so that's your double crochet and your single crochet. And then you're going to do in the next stitch, which will be your single crochet above a popcorn, you are going to do three double crochet. One, two, three. We're making our first corner here. So three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. One, two, and three. And then you're going to skip two stitches. So that's your next single crochet and double crochet. And you're going to do single crochet in the next seven stitches. So that's your second double crochet. I'm going to do single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to skip two stitches. That would be a double crochet and a single crochet. And then you're going to do your corner. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to do your corner in the next stitch, which is your single crochet at the top of your popcorn. So same as before, three double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet. And then you're going to skip two stitches. So single crochet, double crochet, skip those. And do a single crochet in the next seven. Skip two stitches, which is your double crochet and your single crochet, and do a corner in the next one, which is on top of your pop cord. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. skip two stitches your single crochet and your double crochet and single crochet in the next seven Skip two stitches, your double and your single, and do a corner in the top of your next popcorn, the single crochet. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Skip two stitches which is your single crochet and your double crochet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gosh, I've got a funny throat today. And then single crochet in the next seven. Not the next seven, excuse me. The next three stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. And then you are going to join with a slip stitch to your first single crochet which will be just here in the top of your popcorn 
the first one's going to be that. It looks like a stitch, but it's actually your chain. So go into your stitch. There we go. Squared off nicely. How cute does that look? Very, very cute there. Very cute. Okay, so you have the option on any of these rounds now as to whether you want to change colour um, or whether you want to stick with the same colour for the whole um, of the outside. Um, completely up to you. So we're going to start round six. So for round six, it's going to be a half double crochet round. So we're going to start with a chain one and a half double crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to do a half double crochet in every stitch, basically. Um, and then three half double crochets in your corner. So we've got six stitches here to do half double crochets. So six half double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six. And then three half double crochets in the corner. And now along your side you will have 13 stitches, so 13 half double crochets and then 3 in the corner and then along the next side 13, 3 in the corner, 13, 3 in the corner and this side you will have 6, okay? And then you'll just be joining into the top of your first half double crochet. So I'll see you back around there. Okay, here we go at the end of round six. Looking good. I love this. Very cute. <coughs> so, for round seven and round eight, um, we have the suggestion of doing, um, in the pattern, it tells us to do a double crochet in each stitch and um, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in each corner. So, obviously, that will be the um, middle stitch in your corner. Um, so that's um, what's suggested for round seven and for round eight to then make the corner more sturdy is to do exactly the same but um, with one double crochet in each stitch but then to do your corner with three double crochets um, which will make a nice um, sharp corner like we've got here. So it depends how big your square is now how tight or how loose you crochet um, as to what size you need to do those stitches so work it out which whichever you feel you need to do um, and um, do those rounds or just do one round if you only need one round so um, I think I'm going to fasten off this colour and um, do a round um, it is suggested to use your green colour for the last rounds to frame it um, I think I'm just going to do my next round in um, my green to just to give it that pop of colour and then I'm going to do my final round back in my grey. So whichever colour you want to do um, is fine, whether you want to stick with the same colour, whether you want to change, entirely up to you. Just remember when you do your first double crochet, you need to do a chain three for that first double crochet. Um, by all means, if you want to do more half double crochet rounds, that's fine, just do your... Um, you can do a chain one and then a half double crochet or you can do a chain two to count as a half double crochet okay so whatever color and whatever stitch size you wish to do um go ahead and do that to finish your square off um especially if you've been following us um sort of for a while now you um i'm sure are quite quite familiar with um sizing your squares up um, or down to how, how you need them to be. So I'm going to stop waffling and I'm going to um, pause the video while I finish my um, last couple of rounds and then I will see you back um, for me in a few minutes, for you in a moment. And here we go. I've sewn in all my ends. I've done my um, green round that I said I was going to do and my last grey round. And um, I'm up to six inches now, so um, yeah, I love this. It's 
such a cute square and so simple it looks really effective for um but it's actually quite simple so um i hope you've enjoyed making your square along with me um if you have then please don't forget to give us a um a like give us a thumbs up click that like button and um subscribe if you haven't already um click that button as well and um we'd love to see your photos in our facebook group um so if you're not a member there already then um follow the link in that description box um, below as well and um, we'd love to see you over there um, love to see your pictures love to see what color flowers you've chosen and um, what colors you've done so um, there we go um, until next time just keep cooking and don't let your tea get cold <laughs>